Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So there's actually a new patch coming out today. Um, we already got hit with the with the patch notes. This is the maintenance notice. Um, we, I'm just going to be going through this right now. And there's actually some pretty in exciting things. There's also some pictures on the Korean website um, on Cafe Neighbor. So I can actually show these as well. So the first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a new capture event that's coming out. Uh, there's going to be a new monster called the the Rabbit. It's a three to four star monster, and there's going to be a um, three star wood version of the monster, as you can see over here. Um, it basically is this the the tortoise and the hare uh, monster that that you see over here. It's it's going to be called the Rabbit, I think. And basically, it's I think it's pretty cool. I, I I really like these uh you know like monsters that aren't just one monster like you know a dual monster or a group of monster as one monster. I think those are really cool uh, monsters like the Gemini and stuff. So yeah, I think the monster looks pretty pretty nice. Now basically, there's gonna be a wood version and a light version. Um, the wood version is is a, is gonna be a three star, and the light version is gonna be a four star. So it, you can see over here, um, the event period goes from goes from the 10th all the way to the 24th so we have 14 days basically two weeks for this capture event and basically uh, the capture event is only going to be for the three st three star version of the monster you can only catch these you you're unable to catch the actually wait um oh we can you can catch the uh three star wood ones and the the dark ones so there's actually going to be a dark version as well i'm not sure if they're going to add a another version of this monster like a a fire or water version but um as far as we know right now there's only going to be a wood one for the rgb element um so three star um the, the rate of the three star appearing is going to be similar to the encounter rate of rare astromons and the four star is going to be um similar to the encounter rate of legendary astromon so basically this is going to be very very similar to like the gemini event and um so you know you'll you'll get astro guide rewards for capturing you get 100 free astro gems just by catching one so that's also really really nice and you can fuse them you're able to fuse these monsters um basically these monsters into like the the light version you can fuse a dark one with a dark wolf into this uh, evil, actually this needs to be an evil 2 dark wolf, uh, I think this is only evil 1, so you can fuse an evil 1 dark one with an evil 2 dark wolf and it gives you an evil 1 light one. And then this one you have to fuse an evil 2 wood one with an evil 2 um, fire yuki and then it gives you a evil 3 fire yuki. So this is actually very very similar to a very old event in the past. Um, the first snowy event, there was a water snowy event that actually allowed you to fuse the an evil 3 version of the water snowy with an evil 2 version of s certain uh, nat 4s and make an evil 3 version of that. Now I don't have a, I don't, I don't actually have a, a water yuki or, or fire yuki. I'm, I'm not too sure. I might, I might have one, but um, I actually don't have one right now. So hopefully for the event I can get an evil to fire yuki and then fuse an evil three one because that she's actually pretty good for titans you can you can use her to provide a uh, you know armor break and stuff um, if you skill her up it becomes like 80 percent she has a 60 percent armor break for titans and she's fire so actually that's pretty nice for for wood titans she's a pretty useful monster so it's definitely worth a grab um this one should be very very easy you fuse you fuse this with an evil two version or actually an evil three um, water arc and it gives you this uh, this evil two water yaksha now she's actually quite nice as a nuker um, but the, the good thing about these two fusions is since they come out as evil twos you can use them and feed them into your other you know other element monsters so I actually have this dark yaksha that I'm trying to evil three so this will be very very helpful I can just feed her into the dark yaksha um, this one is kind of similar as well. You fuse this with an evil two wood cocoa, and it gives you a, a cupid. Now this is actually not bad to have early on. Now if you're if you're like a early game player, um, this this monster is actually not too bad for for helping you with B8. She's a she's a pretty nice sneaker, especially if if they give it to you as a free evil two. Um, she's going to be very very nice helping helping you like nuke through B8. Um, it makes makes it so you have to farm like one less water yuki. If you happen to be starting the game very very recently, you can definitely grab her and she can she can do a pretty good job. Um, 
for as for wood cupage he's actually not too bad either to use as a healer for b7 and for for b9 because he's a shield healer and some people actually use him for b10 but he he kind of falls off but because his shield doesn't really stack uh, or it doesn't it doesn't scale um doesn't scale with his HP, doesn't scale with his uh, level, so it basically is just a flash shield. But anyways, they're, they're actually pretty good monsters, so you can you can definitely get those um, early on. I'm, I'm gonna try to try to fuse every single one, and um, equip the gens will disappear when fusing. Yeah, make sure you unequip your gens when you fuse, because they actually come out as new monsters, so your gems actually disappear. Um, you will be able to get variants with a random rate using fusing, so you actually have about like a 10% chance for it to come out as a variant, so that's actually pretty good as, as well. The Astromons obtained through fusion will reset to level 1 no matter what materials you use, the shape of the gem slot will be changed randomly in fusing. So basically, yeah, if you're completely new, um, fusing basically gives you a, a new version of the monster. So for example, if you put this in, like it's, it's not like it's turning this into an evil 3, they're basically just giving you a, 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 a new Evo 3 um, Fire Yuki. So all the gem slots are random, there's a chance for it to be variant and all that. It's like you're summoning a new version of it. Um, so they're also adding skill books. They're adding skill books for the Spark It, which is, I think, pretty broken to be honest. Like, you know, the the light and dark Spark It, especially the light one's already like super, super good. Um, I'm actually quite excited because I want to skill up the light and, and light Spark It and like Dark Thor. Basically giving them like a little bit more attack, which will help me help me um, beat Dragon's B10 a lot more easily. I think that's actually pretty nice. So I actually do want to skill up the Light Spark and the Dark Thor. Um, I think Verde is actually pretty cool as well. Like there's, you can skill up the Verdes. The Verde is also really, really strong. The Maros is actually quite interesting because the Maros aren't really used right now. Like nobody really uses these monsters. But I can see if, uh, if you skill up like maybe the Water one, um, and it gives you like 100% seal or something like that. It could be like a, a budget water nightmare or something like that. Um, they're also skilling with the sealers. I think that's actually pretty nice because early on the sealer, if you have one, you can use it for B7. And it, since it's a three star, um, it's not too expensive to skill up. The, the bell pups are, I think they're okay. Um, I think some people use some of the elements for Titans, but I, I think they're not like the best healers. So the pen pen event is going, going to end as well. Um, there's no, going to be no more pen pens. Now the other cool thing is um, they're actually going to stat rebalance the stat of the Radis. Now the Radis are actually it's they're not really worth using because the, the activation rate of the water and wood ones are actually too low but I think the interesting thing is the, the fire one. Um, the fire one basically they made made it so it was it was supposed to be an attacker but it actually had the stats of a tank now they're actually changing these stats to give it a little bit more attack, but this actually doesn't really look like the stats of a, a attacker either. It looks more like the stats of a balance type, uh, to be honest. So I'm not I'm not really too sure about this. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll see what the stats look like at max level. But it, I don't think it's uh it's gonna change too much. You know that it doesn't really matter too much. They're not they're not really uh, uh, important units. They're mostly just I was think I was thinking of using the fire one as a as a farmer because he has kind of the same skills as a fire gen. Um, it's like a f budget fire gen, so I was thinking of building one. But its stat distribution was like actually really really poor, so I, I don't know if this will actually fix it. Um, they give it more defense. They lower the HP, but they only gave it slightly more attack. So I don't think it's really gonna balance it too much. It also gave it more recovery, which is really horrible. Um, they also gave the water one more recovery, which is actually pretty dumb. What the heck? It's like a stat nerf or some shit like that. I have no idea what the hell they're doing uh, with the Radis. But anyways, I don't think it's too important. I'm pretty excited about the new new event coming out. Uh, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens when it when it actually does come out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be back with an actual first look at the patch tomorrow once the patch does actually roll out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.